Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Belgium. with that anthem now to match it formation Jim Beglin well this setup Peter can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four but it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot it can have a, a devastating effect actually at the offensive end of the pitch too So it's down to business here. How do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Romelu Lukaku, his physical characteristics are very impressive. They're always likely to attract the most attention, of course, but for me, it's not just that he's big and he's quick, it's his willingness to, to go direct with the ball at his feet, to take his man on, be brave and just head for goal. That's what makes him quite lethal. Hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Jack drives it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Alderweireld. Witzel. Mitzel goes looking. De Bruyne. And here's Lukaku. And here's Mertens. Oh, nice touch. Can he deliver? Gorgeous control there. Be a throw in. Mertens and the ball's come out away from immediate danger. It's come loose. Either side really getting hold of the ball. Some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. With a delicate ball, and he's cut it out. 
De Bruyne hoists it forward. And here's Lukaku. Pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. Denmark draw first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And here's Azar. Torgan Azar. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Merton, up he gets! <laughs> Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. The cock. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. De Bruyne. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. And it's played forward. And here's Mertens. And it's Mertens. A foul, yes, the uh, referee's given it, and no surprise, that's a booking. Keeper's ball. Ericsson. Ericsson gets it out to the wing. Good clearance and very necessary. Christensen gets it back. Delaney. Plays it over to the other flank. Poulsen. to set himself for the strike. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more.
Denmark take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at one... And we hit half-time. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Denmark ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. The second half gets on the way. And here's Mertens. And helps available out wide. Now to play for a goal kick. Schoener. Kjaar. Schoener tries to switch the play. Delaney goes for the cross. That is good defending. It's been repelled. Got it back as soon as they gave it away. Christensen looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Whipped in. And it's been taken short. This could spell going for goal! Yes! And they are pulling clear here. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Schoener. Such an hour into the second half. Poulsen. Company goes back to base. De Bruyne. Herrera Carrasco. Aldevera goes upfield. All is over the line. Oh, sweet feet. And it's Carrasco. Oh, really good feet from him. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Witzel. And he's there to clear it. And it will be a throw-in. Fitzel. Azar. Schoener. Eriksen spreads it towards the left. For Tongan. Poulsen. Over to the left. That is terrific skill. 
Turns and goes back, shoots! He has done it! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Talking Azar. And it's Azar. Oh, that is lovely footwork. You can get that clear. In with the challenge. And he has been fouled there. Now it's Carrasco. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. Lukaku. Schoener. Poulsen. Lovely feet. Tries a shot! Oh, taken with style! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? Belgium are making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Denmark tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Witzel, Chadley, De Bruyne. Here's Azar. Azar. Beautifully done. Hit into the middle. And that has been cleared. And there goes the final whistle. Denmark have one big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.